What's up guys, it's Michael here from Calisthenics Family and today I'll show you how you can learn the L-sit to handstand as fast as possible and what exercises help me the most in my journey. So let's get this video started. Alright, so when it comes to my own experience with the LZ2 handstand, um, it took me about six months to unlock this move. Um, I had a hard time to learn this move, especially the transition part was really hard for me. Um, but when I look back at my journey, I can remember that there were three phases how I unlocked this move. And in this video, I will explain those three phases and which exercises helped me the most in my journey. And in my journey, I always made sure that my nutrition was on point. I used the products for my protein, um, whey protein, creatine, and supplements that I used and still use on a daily basis. So if you need any products from my protein for optimal performance and recovery, make sure to use our code KellyFam, up to 50% discount. You can check the link in the description. So let's get started with the first phase. And the first phase is all about gaining shoulder strength. So when you look closely to the LC2 handstand, you can actually see that this is a vertical way of pushing. So that's why we need to get stronger in our vertical uh, pushing movements. And the exercises that you can do to get stronger in this movement is the dips, pike push-ups and also hands and push-ups because these movements are similar to the l sit to handstand movement. So before moving on to the next phase, make sure that you're able to do 15 dips, 10 pike push-ups with good form and also five hands and push-ups against the wall. So when you are able to do this, we can move on to the second phase and now we're gonna practice the move itself by doing eccentrics or negatives of the exercise to get our body used to this movement. All right, so doing negatives or eccentrics of the movement is a really good way to get used to the movement and to get neuromuscular connection to the move. I can remember that I also did negatives first before I tried the LZ2 handstand itself and this really helped me out in understanding the movement. So there are several exercises how you can do these negatives from easy to hard. The first one is a negative against the wall. So you start in a handstand position, you just jump up towards the wall and you basically tuck your knees in and come as controlled as possible to the floor. And while you're doing a negative, also make sure to bend your arms so you get comfortable to the bent arm pushing position of the LZ2 handstand. Do this for five repetitions per set. And when you get comfortable with this exercise, you can make it a little bit harder by doing this same exercise, but now with your feet against a bar. So with this exercise, it's most convenient if you have relatively high parallels because this will enable you to do the full range of motion of this exercise because you have more space underneath the parallel so it's easier to get into the l sit when you come down from the handstand we are using these parallels from street gains they are really stable and have the perfect height to learn and unlock the l sit to handstand you can get these parallels at streetgains.com and use our code KellyFam for 10% discount. The link is in the description. So with the negative LC2 handstand on a bar, you should do the same thing, but now do the full range of motion by going down as controlled as possible and getting down into the LC position. Repeat this for five repetitions, do three to four sets. And if you're able to do this, you can move on to the freestanding negative LZ2 handstand. Start on parallels again, bring yourself in a handstand position as controlled as possible. Really focus on bringing your heels towards your glutes first and then rotate your hips and bring your knees towards your chest until you come down as controlled as possible to the LZ position. Try to do this slower and slower with each repetition or with each training. 
When you get really comfortable with this and you feel strong enough, then we can move on to the third phase, which is about learning the skill itself. All right, so now you're comfortable with the negative part of the exercise, we're gonna focus on the concentric part of the exercise. And we will divide this part in several exercises. The first exercise is the L-sit swing to a bent arm position. So with the L-sit swing, bring yourself in a L-sit position for a really short time, only one second from there. Use momentum to move towards a bent arm position in your elbows and bring yourself to the L-sit again. Do this for five repetitions per set. So that's really the first part of the L to handstand. But now when we're getting to the second exercise, it gets really hard because now you should be able to move and do the first part of the L to handstand. But when you get to the transition part, it gets really hard. So to overcome this struggle and to work on your transition, I would really suggest to work on the following exercise, which is the assisted tux to handstand with the help of a resistance band. All right, so now grab a resistance band and put this around your hips. So the starting position with this exercise is the tucked hold with bent arms. So we're gonna skip the L-sit, but really focus on the transitioning part. And from here, push yourself up into the handstand position. At first, this exercise might feel a bit uncomfortable, but when you keep training and doing this exercise, then you get a hang out of it and uh, you understand the movement and you will notice the benefits of this exercise and really get better in the transition part of the L2 handstand. So when you're comfortable with this exercise, you can move on to a thinner band until you feel ready to move on to the last and third exercise, the free standing L2 handstand. When doing the L2 handstand, focus on creating momentum. So start in the L position Hold this for only one second. Use the momentum to bring your hips above your shoulders as fast as possible and bend your arms no further than a 90 degree angle. A really big mistake with the L2 handstand is that people tend to bend their arms too deep. So you're in a really deep handstand push-up position and there's just no way that you're able to press up from this depth. So really focus on bending your arms only until a 90 degree angle and bringing your hips above your shoulders when doing the exercise. Of course, I can imagine that it's really hard to press up from that position. I've been there myself, but one thing that really helped me out is um, pushing and kicking at the same time. So when you push up, also kick your legs out so you create even more momentum to get into the handstand position. And at last, when practicing the else to handstand, don't be afraid to fall forward. I've done this so many times, um, moving from the L-sit to the handstand and then falling forward. You should be at least falling forward for 10 to 20 times, maybe 50 times, 100 times. Just focus on getting the full movement first with falling forward. If you're comfortable with that, then you can focus on counter forcing the fall and staying into the handstand position. All right, so these were the three phases, how I learned the L2 handstand, and I think you should also go through these phases to unlock your L2 handstand. I hope this was helpful and that you get something out of this video and use these exercises in all different phases. Um, I will also show an overview of a workout routine that you can use to uh, learn the L2 handstand, because you should start always at the hardest variation that you're currently at. So for example, first start with skill practice, the l to to handstand itself, then move on to negatives and at last work on increasing your shoulder strength. So make sure when you're in phase three, don't neglect the exercises in phase two and phase one. Always keep practicing all the exercises to progress as fast as possible with this exercise. All right, so that's it for this video. If you need any help with your training, you can check out our full journey workout plan in which we also cover this exercise in different phases, but also many other exercises and skills that you can learn like the front lever, the back lever, muscle up, and just general basic pushing and pulling exercises. 
And don't forget to check out these parallels from Street Gains. Use our code CALIFAM for 10% discount. And if you need any supplements or nutrition, make sure to check out my protein and also use our code CALIFAM. The links are in the description. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. And let me know what kind of video you want to see next. And we'll see you next Monday. Peace out.